Alright people, welcome back. More Death Pro Dual Commentary. So it's just me today. You know, that's fun. I'm used to just talking to myself. I'm freaking crazy. Anyway, uh, we actually have an interesting topic to discuss today. So, uh, I probably, we probably went through this a whole bunch, but before anybody asked me about it and, you know, you want to know my response to the whole is Yu-Gi-Oh dying thing, I'll just go ahead and give it to you in this video right here. Uh, while well, also commentate on this duel, which is weird that you went and did that play. Because not only did you allow him to draw for that, which I guess you're like, hey, don't you know, Dark Claw pick something out of his hand, but at least that maybe you wanted to, you know, save it for Dark Claw, I mean, for Shadow Mist to get the search next turn, but I guess, I mean, sure, why not? All right, so there you go. So I'm assuming it looks like Blue Eyes versus uh, uh, E-Hero, so. All right, all right, bank law that back. Uh, if he can bust out of Blue Eyes, he could easily run over Dark Claw, so that's no problem. But no, Asian Eyes recently put up a video, then Mega Capital G responded to that video, and then uh, talking about Yugi guy responded to responded that but and you know so I'm just like screw it you know uh, it gives me something to talk about in the end of commentary so do I think that Yu-Gi-Oh is dead or dying no 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 uh, I do not think that Yu-Gi-Oh is dying I do think that this duel is dying because he just scooped it up like damn uh, are we gonna go ahead and take it to game two I guess they're gonna go ahead and side but damn he's just like fucking dark law I can't I can't do it I can't do it or did home no no I think I think this guy I think this guy surrendered but damn I don't think Yu Gi Oh is dying. I think, I think, I want to say, I would definitely say it's plateauing. You know, uh, I mean, I don't really know the kids nowadays, and, and you know, I, I'm not keeping up with that. Maybe, you know, when I, maybe when I become a teacher and, and I'm closer, and, and they, they really won't be kids, they'll be like teenagers, like kids' kids that, you know, the token audience of, you know, Konami still wants to get. I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem like there's any new people coming into the game, especially from, you know, a very competitive stand, from, the you know, a very uh, strong standpoint of the game, you know? Like, anybody could just be like, oh, I want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to play the Dark Magician, you know? And, and throw some, slap some cards together, you know? But when you really take it to the level that, you know, we play here on Daily Duel, the under commentary, terminal play, and all that stuff, then, uh, you know, no, there's, I don't see a lot of in, new income people, so it's hard to say it's plateauing, but I don't think it's dying, you know? The numbers show that it's not dying, uh, and it's, it's, it's interesting that Asian Eyes was the one to be like, oh, oh, oh Yu-Gi-Oh's dying, because they ain't, look at, look at all these big channel views, they're down, so that means that Yu-Gi-Oh's dying, it's like, Maybe you want to think that maybe it's your channels? Uh, I mean, I'm not insulted. I mean, I, I have nothing to say against Asian Eyes. I mean, he's freaking huge in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I'm still str struggling to get to 2,500. So, you know, I can't say shit. But uh, I don't know. It just seems like maybe you. And if you're wondering, hey, are, are you my Are you subscribed to Asian Eyes? No, I am not. I, I was subscribed to him for a little while. Back when I was like, okay, uh, way back when I was like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Thing and I was really into the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I was like, all right, well, let me see the big guys. Let me see what they do. So I subscribed to Asian Eyes for a little while, but then uh, I unsubscribed and I haven't been subscribed since. Like, I am not subscribed to Asian Eyes, so don't don't even ask. <laughs> but uh, Asian Eyes, I know he's changed. Like, I'm not subscribed to him, but I, I see his content. I go to his channel every once in a while to see what he's doing, and you know, you know, some of my friends are subscribed to him, so they'll tell me about his video, and I'll be like, oh, Asian Eyes did that. Let me go over to his video. So. I saw Mega Capital G, uploaded the response, and I was like, well, let me see the original video. I watched his Asian Eyes video, I watched Mega Capital G video, I watched Token Black Yu Gi Oh! Guys video, and I was like, okay, I got this. I, I, can, I can easily base my opinion on uh, this video. Asian Eyes, you changed, you changed. Ever since this Slager persona, like, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. There was actually a time where I actually temporarily wanted to change myself. Uh, if you guys are really, really, really old subscribers, like, holy shit, I've been doing this for four years. I don't know when I did it, but there was a time when I wanted to step away from Evil Mastery because of that, you know, it's related to Yubel, no one's going to want to watch my content. And I changed myself to Daily Daniel because I uploaded daily, so Daily Daniel, yeah. And then I changed back to Evil Mastery because, I mean, I already have the URL and I decided to fucking keep it. You know, I mean, that's it's just my channel, that's just me, right? He changes from Asian Eyes to Slade Drug, he starts changing his content, less Yu-Gi-Oh, more Overwatch, and... and go and it's just eh, you know like you come the people come to your channel for that particular content you know while some you may have like a handful of people who come for you and that's great and all they come for the content and if you if, if for example if asian or slider or whatever he wants to call himself would shut down his channel and create a whole new different channel right just delete that channel create a new channel 
it would be the people who appreciate him would go over to the new channel, but he wouldn't get the same exact same amount of subscribers, you know, that would carry over. Because I was actually thinking about creating a separate channel for Daily Daniels that would just be Yo know, Mastery, except not Yo Mastery, and that didn't work out. You know, I didn't work out, so I just stuck with what I got. And his content is it's it's, it's just off, you know, like this. I used to I actually used to do. Uh, let's play on the channel. If you're if you're old and you remember that, I actually used the Let's Play channels. I want to say maybe like a year or two ago. And uh, those videos, I mean, people come to my channel for Yu-Gi-Oh. And when you compare the Yu-Gi-Oh videos to the Let's Play videos, the views weren't even close. And it's similar to Asian Eyes. I think with my uh, with my Let's Play, I would get like maybe like ten views. And this is when I was much smaller, right? But the Yu-Gi-Oh videos, they would get like you know forty, fifty views. They would get like forty, fifty views while. Uh, the Let's Plays only got 10. Same thing with Asian. I said, you give videos, they can get 40, 50,000 views. But, like, Overwatch. Overwatch, you know, the big, one of the big games right now, big old popular Overwatch, that only gets, like, 4,000 out of 100,000 subscribers. That's not a good ratio. Like, my ratio right now is pretty good. I got less, a little bit less than 2,500 subs. I get about 100 uh, views per video. So, that's actually pretty good, you know? If you can get about uh, that amount for your, I think it's like, I want to say like 1-2% to 2 of your viewership for how, how big I am. So, uh, you know, Asian Eyes, he should be easily pulling in like the 10K, you know, the 10K views. But he's not. And uh, it really depends on the content. If it's Overwatch, no. But Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. And people come for the Yu-Gi-Oh. So to say that Yu-Gi-Oh is dying because he's not getting the views that he used to be getting, then... You know, and he's like, and he, and he tries to compare with the, all the other bigger channels, like Galactic God. I'm not subscribed to Galactic God. I pop in occasionally, watch his, uh, his interesting facts about Yu-Gi-Oh, but outside of that, no, you know. Uh, uh, Simply Unlucky. Uh, not everybody wants to watch box openings, you know. Not everybody wants to see just box opening, box opening, box opening. That was, that was pretty good trading to, to do trading again, just to keep it deeper into your deck. Same uh, resource, but deeper into your deck. Um... You know, there's just certain particular content, and if you if you don't change it up, if you don't keep it fresh, if you don't keep it new, then you can definitely lose it. And I'm one to talk, you know, like freaking Yo Mastery over here. He just does the same daily duels, car review, Diondo commentary, fair cup Friday, blah 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 blah. blah. But like, I got try to keep it fresh. So car reviews are always different cards. Daily duels and that could get really stale. Like daily duels every day. So every month we change up the decks. You know, we try to keep it fresh and new. Asian eyes. I mean, he. I mean, I get it. you want to change. You want to keep your channel fresh and new. But if you step away from your channel too far from what made you great, from Asian eyes to Sladra, you kind of alienate some of your viewers. And I, I, mean, I kind of get that. I definitely do. And uh, I wouldn't say that my channel is fantastic. It's okay. It's it's okay. Uh, I kind of wish I was a little bit bigger for the amount of views, it, I mean, for the amount of work I put in, you know, I've, at this point, I probably uploaded upwards of 4,000 videos to my channel, uh, and that's not including the videos I deleted, I actually deleted a nice chunk of the Let's Plays, like, there's a couple of them that you can still see, there's a couple archives like Pokemon and, you know, and Go Home Dinosaurs, because they got a lot of views, they really did, right, but, uh, it looks like we're probably gonna take this game three, but, uh, for the majority of it, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh! content, now I'm just a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, correct? Uh, I hope that, you know, I'll be able to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Tear Draft League Season 2, but, you know, the rip of DM, that doesn't help. Like, there's things that don't help Yu-Gi-Oh!'s case. You know, this whole ending the ban list, we don't know when the format's gonna end, you know, uh, things getting stale, you're not really wanting to, you know, because it's really hard to commit to the game, you know, you know, like, competitive, putting money into it, you know, when, you know, your decks are gonna just die when you don't even know. Like, the ban list could be today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, next year, next month. We don't know. And if we had a definitive date, you know, you, there would be a little bit of risk and reward. Yeah, I can go ahead and pick up this deck. It may get a little hidden list. It may not. But at least I know when the list is. So a definitive date, that hurts the game. You know, just a little bit. And then DM, I mean... DN was like the most easy, easable access. You didn't have to download anything. You just literally type in a website, go to it, bam, you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! For free. Now, I mean, sure, you have YGO Pro and Dev Pro, but you gotta jump through a couple of hoops, and people with Max can't get it. It's a little bit more complicated, right? It's still there, and that's great. You know, you know Dev Pro and YGO Pro, then shh, and wait, then, you know, that'd be the rip of my channel. I mean, clearly, a lot of things are, you know, internet-based. 
I mean, pretty much everything is internet based. Like, I guess I can still do like card review and fake card Friday, but how am I supposed to do daily duels if I have no access to anything to play Yu Gi Oh on it? You know, I'm not gonna freaking build new decks in real life. Like, to tell you the truth, I don't really have any Yu Gi Oh cards in real life. And, you know, that's fine. That's fine. You know, you don't need to have Yu Gi Oh cards in real life to be a fine Yu Gi Tuber. But, uh, you need to keep things fresh. You need to keep things unique. Wow, just get rid of that Dark Claw. And, uh, the, the people that I'm subscribed to, the Yugi tubers that I'm, I'm subscribed to, well, the big ones. I mean, I, I, I definitely do support every single Yugi tuber who joins me, you know. Token Black Yugi Guy, Stun, the Mad Wasp, etc., etc., etc. You know all of them. You know all of them. I, of course, I, I'm subscribed to them. I support them. I watch their videos. But the big ones, you know, the big Yugi tubers, uh, those guys, they, they put out great, unique content that you really can't find anywhere else. You know, Mega Capital G, he has his own opinion about things, he does great discussions. DPY Joe, he has his own unique discussion, kind of intuitive, uh, to kind of make capital G kind of common part, but still his own thing. Listen on Tony 300, you know, he does his duel. And you, if you look at their views, like if you go and to Social Blades, check their stats, their views and their stuff count are up because what they do is cool, unique, and interesting, and they keep the quality up. Asian eyes? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I, I really can't judge him. And I mean, my subscriber count's way lower than his, and I'm not subscribed to him personally, but. Uh, I, I can easily see why, uh, you know, he's kind of worried about his channels because he steps away and it's kind of alienating his eye and saying that Yu-Gi-Oh! is dead, but then you look and you see that you get more views on Yu-Gi-Oh! content than you do Overwatch when, you know, I'm assuming that right now, you know, Overwatch is pretty popular. Yeah, I can, I can, I can easily see the problem here. So I don't think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! that's the problem. I kind of think it's you that's the problem. So, um, yeah, and it brought up something about that if we don't get, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! go, then Yu-Gi-Oh!'s gonna die, like, like, I don't even understand how you would do Yu-Gi-Oh! go, personally, like, I'm actually kind of confused about that, like, how do you, how do you, and if I say like one more time, like, like I said again, how do you do a Yu-Gi-Oh! go? What would that be? Like, Pokemon is easy and simple to pick up. You see these cute little monsters, you walk around, you... Capture the Pokemon. It's simple. I mean, it's the simplicity of the game of Pokemon. There's no, there's real, no real battling strategy, gyms, none of that. It's just go capture some Pokemon, and then we'll throw in this little makeshift gym mechanic because why the fuck not? So simple. How do you do that with Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, are we gonna like go around and put the cards in? I was seriously kind of contemplating how to do like a Yu-Gi-Oh Go and I'm assuming that he, when he meant Yu-Gi-Oh Go he meant like a app on your phone mobile free that you can go around and play with other people and interact with people but Yu-Gi-Oh takes a lot longer than Pokemon Pokemon I'll just be like oh it only takes me a couple seconds throw this Pokeball catch that Pokemon and I'm on my way hey look we caught the same Pokemon we're in the same area let's interact cup talk Yu-Gi-Oh is like all right well I have over 5,000 fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they would have to current update the cards and update the band list. Like, Pokemon Go is just like, hey, here's first gen. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the other gens, but you at least have the content. Like, are they just going to put everything up to this point into the app? That would be a lot of cards. That would burn a lot of data, take a lot of memory. That would be a lot of work. Wow, damn, getting catch of the Mirror Force twice. Like, who plays Mirror Force? Like that, like wow. And then Hone, I mean, he just, I guess he scoops up because, I mean, look at the resources. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get another duel. That was a quick game, game three up to uh, three rounds. So we get another one, bear back. I'm not done talk. Oh, back again, and we got more heroes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh, you yield go. But I just don't understand how you would just, like, stand there and duel somebody for like 20, 30 minutes. Like it's just not it's just not as fast like I was thinking maybe you could like walk like similar to Pokemon Go except instead of capturing monsters you collect cards like you go to different places around the map around the world and collect cards but who's to say that you get you know good decent cards then maybe when after you collect 40 cards you can make a deck and then duel like the computer or the people raise up your level and then when you look for more cards you 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 level up and then those cards that you find will be better. Like, I was just kind of confused on the whole matter of how you do Yu-Gi-Oh! Go. Like, a mobile app? Yu-Gi-Oh! is too slow. Like, it's a card game. You actually gotta take the time and effort. And while Yu-Gi-Oh! is fast, it sure does seem fast. Like, I mean, holy crap, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's gotta go fast. Uh, 
it's still slow in comparison to just a couple of seconds to throw a Pokeball and catch a Pokemon. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if that's going to work like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Go. I think he was just saying in general mobile app. And while we do, we have that kind of YGO app. It would, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible. It would help. It would be nice to have a mobile app that's, you know, updated and stuff like that. But no, no, I don't think that, that's it either. Uh, we saw people... We saw like what record high numbers at uh, the YCSs and the uh, uh, so it looks like here Elemental Heroes versus Domain Monarchs. So busting out that uh, that Dark Law first is great. You know Dark Law can easily fuck up Monarchs, but in the same case, of course Monarchs can easily fuck up Dark Law like that because if they bust out a, you know Domain and lock you out of their extra deck even before you bust out that Dark Law, then you rep. But if you can bust out that Dark Law before they bust out their Domain plays, you I mean. It hurts. It does. It definitely hurts monarchs. I definitely know that. They search a lot. They uh, damn. And then you catch this treacherous too. They search a lot. They like to push in the graveyard. So that's banned. And I know who would love that idols in the graveyard with idols and idea, but <laughs> so because I mean going first, going first has become a lot stronger in the game lately. Like it was, it was strong, and then got weaker with their change, and now I think it's just back to strong. Well, you know, I'm drawn to that sixth card. The setup is real nice, real nice for a particular deck. More because the decks, of course, go second, so you get your damage in. But you know, the setup, the setup. <clears throat> this could have been a completely different duel if it was the other way around. The Mark play went first, but I don't, I don't think you guys did. I think maybe it's plateaued a little bit, like. We really need some more flames, and the whole nostalgia thing. Twentieth anniversary. I mean, it's Yu Gi Oh's gone strong for twenty years. That's that's. I mean, come on. In game standpoint, that's kind of like a grandpa game, right? Nineteen ninety. <laughs> that's old. That's grandpa thing. Things come and go in twenty years. Hey, you know, you're a kid to an adult in twenty years. So to say that uh, that Yu Gi Oh is dying, it's getting going strong. Just kind of plateaus, and the whole nostalgia thing. I think, I, personally, I think that's a great business plan by Konami. I personally do. Damn, the summon your idea gets a strike. Get to like get get wrecked. Let's go ahead and go to game two. Uh, it's a great thing to be like, hey, look at all the years we changed the Yu-Gi-Oh characters. They had new mechanics, but we can still take it back. Here's Kaiba. Here's Yugi. Here's the big 20th anniversary movie. Here's more blue eye shit. Here's more red eye shit. Here's new dark magician shit. It's a great way. It's a great way to go ahead and spark some excitement about Yu-Gi-Oh again to bring them back that nostalgia. So I'm just kind of wondering where we're going from here. You know, what's next? What's next? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far Arc V is from ending. Uh, I, I watched the sub. I watched. I'm all the way caught up in the sub, and it looks like they might be wrapping it up. They've already, and of course, they were starting the standard dimension. They went to uh, the secret dimension. They went to the exceed dimension, only for a little while, but they went to it. They're now in the fusion dimension. Looks like they're going to go ahead and confront the you know, the final boss soon. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's less than 50 episodes. What after that, Konami? You know, what after that? But to say Yu-Gi-Oh is dying, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Yu-Gi-Oh is dying. I'd say Konami is dying. Like, Konami as the company is kind of dying. Because you look at their, their big things, and they're not big or gone at this point. Like, what, what's really, what, what's Konami? Uh, Metal Gear. That's Kojima. He, that's Kojima. So, he's gone. So, rip on that. Silent Hill, you haven't really done anything. I mean, that kind of, that new Resident Evil kind of Silent Hill-y, but, you know, you didn't do your uh, PT or Silent Hill thing or whatever, so, eh. What, uh, Dance Dance Revolution? What the fuck is that? Like, no one does Dance Dance Revolution anymore. I don't think this is popular anymore. Maybe here in America. Maybe he's still in Japan? Here in America, no. And, uh... I think they started doing, like, mobile games and, like, slot machine games and, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! So, out of all the things that Konami does, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so, if Yu-Gi-Oh! It starts to dwindle, then Konami, I, I think Konami would probably die before Yu-Gi-Oh! I can easily see, uh, maybe, possibly, if Konami really gets desperate, selling off Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, to another company. Yeah? So, I can, you know, if Konami goes bankrupt, I can see someone picking up Yu-Gi-Oh! In, in, in its place. Sure, why not? Is, is you act like freaking Konami is the first owner of Yu-Gi-Oh! No. 
I remember uh, was it Upper 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 Deck Entertainment? I think that's what their name for. I don't know. Upper Deck Upper Games. I don't remember. I see. I don't remember. And that's exactly how it's gonna be when Konami goes rip. Like I don't remember. But it's Konami. It's Konami. Konami's kind of hurting. The bigger channel is kind of hurting. But if, if if you see like the medium channel, you see like uh, the really good unique content. DPYG, Mid Capital G, Lithium Twenty Three Hundred. You're not subscribed to those three. You probably should because they're really great. Like if out of all big YouTubers, I would recommend it's those three. Like, it's those three. There's other big Yugi tubers, sure, that I don't mind and I'm subscribed to, but those three are my top three big Yugi tubers. They put in the work. You will get your you will get your content. You will get your subscribe worth. And it's not like you have to pay for the subscribe button to hit that subscribe button, but you will get your worth. You know? I kind of feel like I'm maybe in the same boat, a little bit smaller, of course, but you hit that subscribe button, you get you get content. You get daily duels, the end of commentary, card review, you get the Yugi Master content. And wow, I kind of wish I was a little bit bigger, and I wish that you know Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't all the, the community wasn't all about networking. You know, like I mean, it was great that Mega Capital G uploaded that video. I think it got like maybe like four thousand views. If those four thousand people that watched that video came and subscribed to me, I'd be much better off. But I think only like a hundred people subscribed. But I mean, it's great. I mean, it's a hundred more people that I, that I didn't have. But still, you know, channel's been going up and down, up and down lately. Gained a couple of subscribers, lose a couple of subscribers, gained a couple of subscribers, lose a couple of subscribers. I, I don't think, on my own, on my own, as a channel, I don't think that I'm going to get anywhere. I think I'm just going to kind of stagnate. So I need to network. And I was hoping that the Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Drop Season 2 would be, you know, such a huge success. And some of the YouTubers that I networked with said that they were going to guest upload. They never did. And then, of course, Dion went down. It's, you know, a lot of problems. So hopefully that gets resolved and we can go ahead and, co and uh, continue with Season 2. I mean, all right. I'm pop that. Never watch your opponent draw, but... I have no idea what you thought that card could be. I, I, if, I, if I were you, I probably would have just popped a freaking uh, Karaz, popped himself to draw onto the card because you don't want Karaz in your hand. Like He's going to return to your hand because of Ether. What is he doing in your hand? Like He should have popped himself and drew one card deeper. He can't attack. He's going to go back to your hand. He ain't doing shit. Like, unless you have return. Unless you have return. I just don't get it. Well, of course, we are seeing, once again, the domain locked down. Just locking him out of the uh, extra deck. Like definitely, it's just it's simple. Just copy those you Pantheon some domain. Get rid of them, you know? Some people say after, some people may say Monarch some forth. I mean, yeah, but let's still deal with the simple. Let's see. This card's stupid, and it's a plus one, and it's a draw card. This card locks you out. Like, it's saying that you can get out of domain. Oh, no, domain lock is simple to get out. Just, you know? It's like saying that you can get out of anything. It's a floodgate, you know? It's like saying that macro should go up to three, because, or, you know, skill drain should go up to three. Oh, oh, simple. Same way you get rid of domain, you get rid of, you know, macro and skill drain. So, yeah, those cards should be at three. Like, no, no, that's not right. <laughs> All right. So, once again, we are seeing idols. So, we're just going to see idols and tribute zone for cross. If you, maybe you should have return. Like, return? No, no. It's, it's a weird monarch place. Like, I'm, I'm not really liking this. Pop himself? No, no. Up the monster and then allow your pump to draw a card. You know you're allowing him to get deeper and deeper into like, his cards, his Rageki, he can easily turn this duel around. Like you're not you're not invincible, sir. <laughs> I, I, I would have popped that cross, like you don't need him. Unless you have return. If you have return in your hand, sure. And you also have a pantheism you haven't activated. Two pantheisms you haven't activated, like, like get your search on. Like, I don't care if you're in a winning position, always activate the pantheism because it'll get you pluses. Pluses and searches. You might as well get all your pluses and searches and all of that out of the way. So as soon as he hits you with this Rodeki and goes into Dark Claw, you're going to be struggling. Struggling. So, uh, so yeah, rip you, Gail. Rip, rip, rip. I, I'd, I'd really love the excitement of it all. Oh, look like he scoops it out. Like, Phoenix couldn't get out of the lock. So, I guess we're taking it for game 32. Damn. These are quick, quick games. Quick games. We already had two full three game. Uh, Matches in less than 25 minutes. That's pretty good. Well, this round three is not even over, but I, I personally I get excited for a new card. Like, and if you would ask me, you would ask me, do you love Yu-Gi-Oh? No. <laughs> uh, it started to become it's starting to become a job. You know, it used to be a hobby. You know, occasionally we play Yu-Gi-Oh, we'd have fun, we'd uh, play with friends, we wouldn't play competitive. But then with the channel, of course, now it's a job. Instead of yay, I get to record a video. It's like I have to record a video. So while it's, it's become a little bit more of a job, I can't say that I'm not excited for the new bandwidth. I can't say that I'm not excited for, you know, uh, new cards, seeing what they do and, you know, how powerful uh, they can be. 
So that in itself is just another enough fuel to uh, keep the fire in me, just to see all the new, new, new things. Because uh, if Yu-Gi-Oh was stale, if we got no new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if Yu-Gi-Oh just died today, and we never got a single new Yu-Gi-Oh card, that's it. Uh, yeah, I could see Yu-Gi-Oh dying, but it's the fact that can I keep it going that there's new new product new content new 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 every single year that You know 2016 not the same as 2015. That's not the same as 2014. Not the same as 2013 uh, It just goes to show you that Yu-Gi-Oh is changing growing and evolving So how can something that's changing growing and evolving not be dying? It doesn't make any sense <laughs> So you get fine. Don't worry about it there's a couple things that hurt it, but there's not enough to kill it. There's not enough to kill it. Even if YGO Pro and Dead Pro and there's no online Yu-Gi-Oh at all, would Yu-Gi-Oh be dead? No. Because there's still those people who love to go down to locals, who love to play Yu-Gi-Oh in real life, who love to buy the top tier deck, go down to a regional YCS or whatever, and win. There's still people like that. And Konami knows this. You know? So, you get fine. You get fine. <laughs> and my channel is fine. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You know, I just, I just kind of wish just a little bit that I would uh, get a little bit more payoff for my effort. Like, I could easily see myself being like five thousand subs, but nope. <laughs> and maybe it's me, but I kind of like the consistency. I like the structure of my channel, and uh, I'm totally forced adjustments. You know, I'm very, very flexible, pliable. I reply to everybody needs to be replied to. You can tell why I really got any complaints. I think everybody's that who likes my channel is happy with the channel. But they get that content, so I think I'm good. But, you know, if I would all of a sudden start doing Let's Plays, I wouldn't think that those Let's Plays would get as many views as Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you subscribe to my channel for Yu-Gi-Oh! You subscribe to Asian Eyes or Sladra for Yu-Gi-Oh! But then when he doesn't do Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> you know, it's kind of a disappointment. You, know, you see it in your sub box, and you're like, I'm not even clicking that. The Asian Eyes is what? And then that one time where he tried to be like the Keem star and fucking, like, what the fuck was that? Like, no, no, you don't need to be a freaking Keem star. I didn't even see that. I just heard it. I just heard it. But I'm not, even gonna, I'm not subscribed to Asian Eyes, so <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, Asian Eyes uploaded Overwatch. Ooh, no. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, he said, there's just certain channels that you're subscribed for for certain things. And when they don't do those certain things... Or they step out of the norm, while well, it's good to try something new, as long, I think you should try things new, but try them and see what your view base is. Or you can even do a poll, or ask before you dive deep into the poll, you know? Before you dive balls deep into that poll, ask, yeah, should, should I do this? Should I do this? There's no way that I would, you know, change something up or do something big or huge on the channel without confirming it with you guys, because it's your guys' content, you know? I wouldn't just up some be like, oh, here we go, start up and let's play. It's like the occasional Dragon Ball Z that thing. That's just me sharing something I like, and I get it. you want to share something you like. It, you want it, Asian Eyes doesn't want it to be a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. They want it, he wants it to be a him channel. But you've earned all them subscribers off of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of hard to step away from that. It's like waffles. It's like you 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 made a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. You got all subscribers off of Yu-Gi-Oh. Then you quit Yu-Gi-Oh and then do other shit. And then expect the same amount of viewers and subs and shit? Like, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not how it works. <laughs> like, the people are either going to leave or not watch the new content that you're trying to put out. And it sucks that sometimes it has to be like that, but people come for what they want. And if you're not supplying what they want, then why stay? Uh, I kind of feel like that. No, no, me the bash of Vexicus, but I kind of feel like the Vexicus. I come to Vexicus for the news. What's new? What's going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, you know? I tr Vexicus, in my opinion, is kind of like the Channel 5, and I guess in Core 42, he's like the Channel 3. The Channel 3, or Channel 5, and the Channel 13. They're the Yu-Gi-Oh! news. But then Vexicus uploads, like, Pokemon shit, and it's like, I wanted to see Pokemon, I would see it from a particular Pokemon Poketuber, you know? I would watch me some Shofu or something, for Pokemon, or well, Vexicus, you're, you're my new Yu-Gi-Oh! news guy, what are you doing with Pokemon? And I get you want to share what you love, and I get, the channel is called Vexicus for Vexicus. Vexicus is all about Vexicus and what Vexicus likes and what Vexicus wants to do. But you don't supply me with what I want, then rip. <laughs> and that's just how it is. This is how it is. Yu-Gi-Oh is. I mean, YouTube is like the new television. If this, if this particular channel on TV or on YouTube doesn't supply me with what I want, then I'll just go to a different channel. I'll just change the channel. <laughs> 
It's like, hey, I'm at Cartoon Network. I'm here for cartoons. All of a sudden, freaking Cartoon Network starts doing some fucking live action shit. Oh, wait, they did that. Then you start watching it just a little bit less. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> So I'm kind of just talking in circles right now, but yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's fine. Yu-Gi-Oh's not dead. It's it's no threat to Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, the the outcome will be fine. A game that's going 20 years strong, one of the I'd say easily top three highest engrossing card games isn't gonna just die. Like Dwindle, maybe a little. Plateau, understandable for a 20 year old game, understandable. Uh, but to outfly, die, be on his deathbed. It would, it would really require Konami to drop Yu-Gi-Oh! and produce no new content at all. Yeah. Like, even when people couldn't access DN for a little while, and there were still people on DN. Like, even when DN was dying, there's still people. So, even if Konami just cuts off, cuts it at the neck, just no more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. This is it. This is, this is the end. This is the end. No more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. There probably still be a couple of people that still play. Yeah. I mean, there probably be no more term. I it will require no more con, no more product, no more tournaments, no more anything. Like it would, killing Yu-Gi-Oh would probably require a ban on the entire game. Because even if they wait, no more, no, no more Yu-Gi-Oh cards, no more tournaments, no more regionals, even no more. You can't do Yu-Gi-Oh at locals. What is stopping me from getting with a couple of my friends, having our old Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And playing. You would literally, Konami would literally have to be like a holocaust on Yu-Gi-Oh! to kill Yu-Gi-Oh! Like bust into everybody's fucking houses, take all their Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, no more Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and burn them all in a pile. <laughs> and, and kill every single way of doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Absolutely. And then you could probably still have some resistance, so. <laughs> So, look at all you had to do. You had to jump through hoops to kill Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh has gone for 20 years strong. It's 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 fine. And it looks like we might be getting to the end of this duel. I mean, he, he vanities emptied him, sat there, and busted out the... He got rid of his own vanities, and busted out the Dark Law of the Dweller, and now he's going to switch it up. Mark's generally don't play much back row, so nice uh do another additional attack with a second Dark Law and uh, Anki, and that'll be it. Rip. <laughs> Yeah, and that thing I'm gonna go ahead and call. Because I seriously doubt this set card is anything. Like, what? If it was Mirror Force or something along those lines, you would have played it a long time ago. Uh, I don't think there's a prime in your grave. No, it's nothing. So, I have no idea what this set card is, but I don't think it's anything. So, yeah, there we go. That's it. <laughs> so, tell me what you guys think about Yu Gi Oh! Do you think Yu Gi Oh! is dying? Do you think it's dead? Or do you think that Asian Ice is just being a little whiny? Because I. I, I it just came off a little whiny, like, uh, my views are down, so Yu-Gi-Oh is the problem. No. <laughs> yeah, like, that's like me saying that, oh, I lost some subs and my views are down, so Yu-Gi-Oh is dying. <laughs> like, no, it's probably me, or, you know, something along those lines. Like, he's not a lot of self-reflection in that video, so. Oh, well. All right, we're done here. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed just my little two cents, uh, so... I will go ahead and link Token Black Yu-Gi-Oh! guy's video in the description. Go ahead and go to his video and get his opinion. His video was much shorter. It was only like four minutes, four or five minutes. So <laughs> much easier to watch instead of this half an hour, uh, I almost said Dando commentary, Death Pro Duel commentary. That was, a, that was a simple change. It was a change nonetheless that had to be done. And uh, I will be back on Thursday with somebody. I'll definitely make sure I have a tag partner and such. Uh, the person who's joining me in Daily Duels is unable to uh, talk right now. So... Uh, that's the reason why they're not joining me here. You'll see it in Daily Duels in a couple hours. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.